it's closing day, you're super pumped about buying your new house, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you and your agent have done the responsible thing and set up a final walkthrough. You get to the house, everybody's excited, your agent gets the key out of the lockbox, opens the door, and holy shit, the house is a wreck. So now you have closing in two hours. What do you do? As closing day approaches and you're getting ready to buy your new house, always do that final walkthrough. I've harped on this for years and I will continue to do so. What I can tell you is in my own career, 99% of my walkthroughs are a 10 or 15 minute check, walking through the house, everything's great, everybody's happy, and then we're on our way to closing. But for that 1%, when you get to the house and it's either a complete mess, the pool is bright green, the cabinets are missing, or there was a leak in the bathroom and the living room's now flooded. What do you do when that happens on closing day? The importance of your walkthrough is leverage. If you show up to a house and the stove is missing, or the washer and dryer that was mentioned in the contract was taken out, or perhaps a pipe burst and there's a leak, this is your leverage to get the problem fixed before you sign and own the house. And if you go to closing and then you open your door and something has happened, you really don't have a leg to stand on. So you've done the responsible thing and you've done your walkthrough, you show up and it's all hit the fan. As realtors, our job is to solve problems. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Our name tags say realtor, they should just say problem solvers. The first thing that needs to happen is your agent needs to get on the phone and get in touch with the listing agent. Perhaps the sellers were unaware of what happened or there's an explanation, but the first thing to do is get to the bottom of what has happened. And the second thing that needs to happen is your agent needs to figure out how to solve that problem. Is it delaying closing until things are repaired or fixed or paid for? Or perhaps closing really can't be delayed, but you can have the title or closing company hold money aside from the seller's funds until everything is fixed. Depending upon what the issue is, there's a number of ways to fix the problem, but that's why you wanna make sure you've got an agent on your side who is solution-minded. We are problem solvers. The third thing is that good vendors are key. You wanna make sure that your agent knows a plumber, a handyman, a cleaning crew, so that when things go wrong, solutions can be provided quickly. For example, I had a house, did the walkthrough, my customers were actually out of the country. That would have been a really easy one to skip. But when I got there, the house was a complete mess. First thing I did was call the agent to find out that the sellers thought, since the buyers weren't even in the country, they could go back the next day and clean it. Well, next day it's no longer their house, and that's a huge liability issue. So we went ahead and communicated with the closing agent and had them set aside $1,500 from their closing proceeds. And then went back to make sure it was all cleaned up so they could release the funds to the sellers. Or if they hadn't done their job, the buyers would have been able to get that money and pay for a cleaning crew to come in and do it right. And the fourth thing that this all hinges on is whatever solution you and the seller make, get it in writing. Write up an addendum, get everybody to sign it to make sure that you have that leverage. Particularly if you're agreeing to go ahead and close and hold some funds back or get a repair later on. Make sure it's in writing because if it's not in writing and it's not signed, it doesn't exist. Buying a home can be scary, but just make sure that you've got a really good team of professionals on your side and make sure you're informed. And Buying the wrong house can be an equally scary situation. So if you're curious about my perspective as a realtor, don't miss my video on three houses I would never buy. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.